My name is James Taylor and I'm uh, leading team in ET here in the CCA TRF and I'm the CCA supervisor and I maintain quality control for all the circuit cards. This lab is all about having good electronic components and, and repairing circuit cards. Anything on a ship that can't be repaired at sea or on board gets sent back to stores and then from stores we order it in and it comes here for us to test and repair. Then we send it back to stores and it goes back to the ships. There's been some vast changes here at the CCA TRF. The renovation and all of the planning was conducted in-house. So we came up with a mud map of how we wanted all of our test equipment laid out, where we wanted it and redesigned the lab to be most efficient and best practice. The defence personnel post in and out of positions here. We hold the knowledge on the equipment, on the test programs. That enables like an ongoing workflow and we can retrain and they can keep outputting. I'm the sustainment manager for Maritime Cross Platform System Program Office. I look after a lot of sustainment for Navy, um, shore establishments, uh, ships, all kinds of different things, making sure that we have the money to, that we need to maintain the Navy capability at its level. We, we provide a lot of support for this facility. It's important because we need to make sure that the people that we have out there within the Navy are learning what they can do when they're on shore. It helps them learn their trade better, and when they get back out to sea, then they, they know exactly what's going on with their equipment. There's a five-week course where we do go and do our training, but nothing compares to six months' worth of experience. When you see people come in uh, initially, they're generally pretty apprehensive about getting right into the guts of a circuit card. But once you take all the correct precautions, you can get right in there. And once people realise that, their confidence builds and they learn that even if they do make a mistake, they've got skills to repair it. We are trained to a certain standard as electronic technicians, but we don't get a lot of experience of actually hands-on component level repairs and testing. So coming into this workshop, I actually got a lot more hands-on uh, testing. The improvement obviously is a, is a lower failure rate. Once we've perfected our ESD standards and work instructions, and we're hoping that it will filter out into the rest of the fleet and we'll be able to teach everybody else how to do it. It helps them grow personally and professionally. As we get used to using this facility and other facilities like it around the country, it's just going to add more and more value to what the Navy's currently doing and more and more value to the sailors themselves as they're learning their job. I hope this place always keeps growing and I'm becoming better. It's definitely capable and a lot more. If anyone who's actually watching this in the fleet, give it a go. Come here with an open mind and you'll be surprised what this place can teach you. Electronics is everywhere throughout a ship and without a facility like this to repair those electronics, they almost fail to exist. Well, I was a trainee in here in 2008. I saw the potential of it then. Now it's, as some people like to call it, a world-class facility.